In the aftermath of World War II, Britain needed a bomber that could outpace the future, and they built one. Enter the English Electric Canberra, the Royal Air Force's first jet-powered bomber. Designed in the late 1940s to replace the legendary de Havilland Mosquito, the Canberra wasn't just fast, it was revolutionary. It officially entered RAF service in 1951, but its impact spread fast. The Canberra was exported around the world and license built in Australia and the United States, where it evolved into the Martin B-57. This aircraft didn't just fly, it set records. In 1951, it completed a non-stop transatlantic flight, and by 1957, it soared to over 70,000 feet, setting a world altitude record. Its ability to fly higher than early interceptors made it a Cold War asset. The Canberra wasn't just a bomber, it was a multi-role machine. It performed tactical strikes, reconnaissance, and even electronic warfare. It saw combat in the Suez Crisis, Vietnam, and even the Falklands War, powered by twin Rolls-Royce. Avon engines, the Canberra carried up to 10,000 pounds of ordnance, all packed into a clean, efficient airframe. Its design emphasized simplicity and rugged reliability, making it a favorite of pilots and engineers alike. Over 1,300 Canberras were built, and their service life was long. The RAF didn't retire the type until 2006, after an astonishing 55 years. And even today, NASA uses modified B-57s for high-altitude research, proof that the Canberra wasn't just ahead of its time. It refused to fall behind.